Hello guys, it's Choji TV. I'm here with a when you choose readjust this. Um, I'm here with a review on episode six of Mushi Bugyo, Mushi Bugyo. Um, and it, I'm just gonna be reviewing it, just telling you my thoughts and all the cool stuff. And so hopefully you'll like and leave a comment down below. By the way, as you can tell, like for my reviews now, I'm gonna be using my intro because I feel like that intro more fits my reviews than my actual gameplay videos so I hope you guys bear with me on that um, this is kinda late so I'm really sorry this episode actually came out like Monday afternoon so I'm generally kinda late on this so I'm kinda sorry about that and I apologize in advance but I'm just like decided to do it anyway and kinda share my thoughts about with this anime and like tell you my thoughts about the individual episode itself um, this anime kind of gives off a Ronin Kenshin kind of feel, so because it actually takes place right after Ronin Kenshin, and this takes place in the um, Edo era, which is the early 1700s, if you guys didn't know. Um, in this episode, particularly though, um, it it started out as Jinbei and Hibachi. Hibachi, I'm hopefully pronouncing these people right. They're pretty much talking about Mu Gaisan, and all of a sudden. Um, this guy who's an intruder, which ended up being the, like, the runner-up for the kingdom, like, way up there, and he just came up, and he said, like, all he wants is knowledge, and that's all he really wants, so he decided to go to the insect magistrate to try to kind of, kind of intrude in a way. He was trying to, like, get in there, he was trying to, like, figure out what's going on, he was kind of going in, and he pretty much got caught because he kind of fell really retardedly. It was really funny. Um, and so they ended up finding him, they said, he said pretty much that all they wanted to know, they said he couldn't go in there, um, and pretty much he, as he was walking back, Jimbo was, wa um, bringing him back, he decided, hey, I really don't want you to walk with me, so Jimbo kind of left him alone, as he was left, leaving him alone, um, he runs into this guy who's pretty much getting his blood sucked by this, um, big ass mosquito, because in this, if you did, didn't know, this anime, in the Edo it's about the Edo period, um, but unfortunately, it's kind of weird and takes its own twist because it's about how like these steroid bugs, insects, actually take over, and the insect magistrate's job is to beat the fuck out of them and kill them. It's because if they don't, they're just going to take over and just kill everybody. So you, no one wants that to happen, no unless you're pretty sick about it. Um, so. That was so that's pretty much what was happening. And also Jibe saw it. He was like the guy who was getting attacked, which his name is Ishigi Sama, because you know he's high really high up. So people in Japan in that in the even in the anime called him Sama. Um but he, they would he was getting attacked and he was like, Oh my gosh, it must be a dream like a he was like a fucking derp. And then all of a sudden uh, Jimbe was like, oh my gosh, God save you. So pretty much he saves him. He actually sacrifices a part of his arm, kind of. It doesn't actually fall off, but he gets stabbed really hard. So pretty much he can't use his arm. It's like incapable of being moved. And all of a sudden, like, he's like, I need your help. I need your knowledge and shit. And so all of a sudden, he just like goes away. And he, Jimbe's like, what the fuck are you doing? You're leaving me alone. I'm, I need your help, bitch. And then he comes back with like this thing. I forgot exactly what it's called. And he kind of spreads it around. It kind of makes the mosquito like, ah, oh, no, f what the fuck, and, like, he's like, dude, what the fuck is my eye, man, and then all of a sudden, Jim is, like, stabbed to the, I don't know, he just kind of sliced him in half, <laughs> and then they won, they went back, and they're, like, drinking and stuff with the other two characters, one who really likes explosions, aka the wannabe dater, <laughs> I don't know, I just call her that, her name's, like I said before, is, like, Kabachi, and then, He's with his expert samurai. Sorry, I'm looking down. I'm not looking at my dick. I am looking at this piece of paper I wrote down because I always forgot the names. His name is Shungiki Koikawa. Yeah, that's his name. I'm sorry for pronouncing these like shit. And they pretty much party. All of a sudden, they fall. They all fall asleep. Um, next thing you know, he tries to look in, and all of a sudden, they see that he finds this thing looking at a map of the rising sun or whatever. And all of a sudden, the person who's the head of everything, Katori, decides, he's like, the fuck, you're not supposed to even be in here. We said you couldn't be in here. And he, like, slices the paper in half, and he's like, don't speak a word of this, and we're still investigating the cause. And then he's like, sure, as long as Jimba, I can see Jimba, because, you know, he's cool as Jimba, I guess. And so that's how the episode ends. Um, I think this, I'm kind of curious about 
Um, I think this anime is going to be going in a different direction because at first it was just like, oh, let's see his Jimba's regular adventures, but now I feel like it's just going to be about how, um, I feel like there's something fishy going on, you could say. Like, I feel like something's going on that we're not aware of because nobody can seem to figure out uh, how these, like, steroid bugs, and by steroids, I mean, these things are, like, tall as houses, even came into existence into this world. So nobody really even knows what's going to be happening. And we're just really, I'm personally wondering what the fuck is hap even, like, going to happen in the next episode because, um, I'm just, it's, like, really in, I wonder if, like, that he's going to keep his deal with Kort, Kortori and actually be able to, um, keep it a secret from everybody that there's something up with everything. Thing, you know um anyway please leave your thoughts down below about what you feel about mushy bug yo in the com you know leave your thoughts and stuff and uh please like and sub if you're new and all that cool stuff anyway this is jody i'm out and this capsule was longer than i thought but i hope you guys still enjoyed anyway and watched it all the way through but this is jody i'm out and hope you guys have